this channel. This is is this Guernsey? This Guernsey just here. Uh, I have complete faith in our navigator Simon Fisher. Yeah, 100% faith, no problem at all. Just checking the charts. <laughs> in, the, in the navigation stage. <laughs> Lots of current. <laughs> it makes this go warp speed. That's the magic carpet ride. A bunch of currents and rocks. It's a oh, bit it's like sailing around the Channel Island. Islands, <laughs> which is where we are now. Yeah, it's, um, it's quite cool around here. It's probably the bit in the, one of the bits of the world with the biggest tidal range. Tidal range to be like over 10 meters. So yeah, it means a lot of current. Uh, we're currently going down the Big Russell, which is the gap between uh, Herm and Sark. And uh, yeah, when the tide gets going here, it really does get going. You can see, uh, you know, eight, nine knots of current. Right. Hopefully, we're going to hit water speed, yeah. You've got 3.5 knots of current. Last ranking we were first. We've been quite fast on the last few hours, but now uh, no more wind. It's just full. Um, for me, the main problem is that we have the TSS just under. So a few minutes uh, under. Uh, so f it's hard to say so far uh, the boat uh, who are going to the north is uh, leading but uh, later I think they will have better wind but uh, I hope 
so far we have we win we uh, gain a lot from because we choose go from the north. But let's see after we pass uh, we get out from the from TS TST area. So close yet so far. White Cliffs of Dover, very famous. Um, and yeah, we're just getting to the end of the uh, to the southeast corner of England. We sort of join the coast around Eastbourne, so we've had about 40 miles along here. Um, and then we just uh, head sort of northeast towards the end of the uh, traffic separation, and then uh, onto the Hague. So uh, if we're lucky, we'll get there tonight. And uh, don't know where the rest of the boats are, but they're on the other side. They're on the French side. condition we could have, almost every condition we could have in the last two days. It's gonna be crazy, no much sleep but um, looking forward to get there in a good place for sure. Pushing always hard. Can't decide whether they're French or um Channel Islands. We can't see much wheel but where on the map are we? <laughs> Uh, that's Guernsey, right there, and that's the Isle of Sark. Right there. I, I don't see much. Yeah. <laughs> no, neither do I, so that's why I'm holding a chart. Um, Whoa, thick fog. Someone found us. Uh, we've got about six miles to get through this gap, and then 21 miles to the Cup de la Hague, which is on the corner there at the Aldenley race, which is world famous for the eight knot currents and overfall so plenty to go <laughs> luckily the tides with us I didn't quite know it was the evening. I think it's just a bit drizzly out here as we get closer to England. But uh, I think we just had four knots of current under us and put about two miles on these guys in about half an hour. That might all come back, but uh, at the moment we're out in front and we're having fun. We're going downwind. Feels like it's been forever since we've been going downwind doing 25 knots. So, nah, good fun. Good day. down to this line plane that this sort of edge you know jiving away from it because of the current being stronger initially on the sure against and then just taking our medicine basically yeah um, it'll be daylight hopefully it'll be clearing you know and we'll be able to just fast at zero do our business taking them on the shore when all this seems lost, we'll get spat through and yeah. we'll get six hours, perhaps a little more, of current getting us across the shallows, which is tricky. Yeah. And then we'll get, after that, get into the sea breeze. I'm, I'm happy. Good. I mean, it's going to be hard work, yeah, but yeah. we've done hard work so far and we just need yeah. to yeah. stick yeah. with yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. 
Abu Dhabi Vestas and FCA. With us to the south? Yeah. Uh, I guess in reality, they're yeah, 11 miles behind. The closest. And then, got Matt Frey, uh, Brunel, and uh, Dongfeng to the north. Oh. They they will uh, always should do better in the first bit. If they're not doing well now, then yep. it's a complete failure on that side. So we once we get round, you ask me once we're around Cape Brunei, and then we'll have an idea. Until that time, so we've got 30 miles of, of pain. Why well, they should have 30 miles of ease, and then we'll see. Uh, yeah, certainly a busy night with a big split. Um, we have uh, some of the mathematics working in our favor of our side winds, but no telling whether or not that's going to work. So, um, still another 10 hours for it to play out. We uh, we can see the cliffs of Dover. We know that three boats are up there um, on the other side of the TSS. We were hoping that the helicopter that just flew over us was going to uh, fly over to them and give them away. But at the moment we just have to wait for the skid and hopefully they're not, uh, they're not just fetching along down the uh, border of the TSS while we beat up the other side. Um, we know Abu Dhabi, we see them pop in and out on AIS about 10 miles directly downwind of us. So we feel good on uh, the guys on our side but a little nervous about the guys on the other side. Let's do it then, no? So fast. Almost uh, 170 miles. My touch is shocking. Bit ball, bit ball. Keep. The chicken, the donkey bell. Donkey bell. Sounds German. Right on. All on proof? I don't even know how to say thank you or hi or bye. Pirates with a sailboat. Sponsored by Brunel. <laughs> what 
know what the tuck is doing with it. You can sail course below, whatever you want. Work here. Close to home. Sort of. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But I mean, Scheveningen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's home for you, you know? Yeah. Where you feel more home, Scheveningen or here? Uh, probably Scheveningen. I've been to more times than Dover. but we're not getting any speed, you know? Oh, maybe it's a Tiring. <laughs> I think everyone was really tired last night. Um, had a lot of jibes in the day. Um, so, and then, um, yeah, downwind. It's got quite windy, up to 25 knots. Um, with, some, with more jibing. But um, we struggled for speed for a bit, so we lost some distance but um, wind dropped and yeah we're sort of back together again now so it's quite exciting right now there's a big split in the fleet three of the boats have gone to the north and uh, the rest of us are south so we won't know the answer to this for some time yet so we'll see what happens but right now we've got to beat the people we're with and that's Abu Dhabi and Vestas so we're all creeping along right now in six knots Oh my um, over behind us, no, in front of us, it's a Zam. And we've just come careering out of some nice 20 knots of wind running with spinnakers on, and we're now going out wind and very little wind. And right over in the background, you can see the coast of France, so we're sort of running along the French side of this, tier, uh, this exclusion zone between France and England. Let's go start. 